Welcome back to The Breakfast. It's a time for PLOS trending and it's a time when we look at some of the biggest topics driving the conversation on social media. We of course have uh, Buki November joining us. Uh, we'll bring her in in, uh, in a few seconds. Over the weekend, Nigerians on social media have expressed anger over uh, set results announcing former beauty queen Agbani Darego as the ugliest Miss World uh, winner via the Google search engine. Although it's now been rectified, a Google search of the ugliest Miss World would usually display a picture of Agbani Darego accompanied by the following information. Chief Agbani Darego, MFR, born Agbani Darego, 22, uh, December 1982, is a Nigerian model and of course a beauty queen who was crowned Miss World in 2001. She was the first indigenous African to win Miss World. Here to shed more light on this is our in-house social media manager, Buki November. Hi, Buki. Good to see you. Yeah. Should I be angry? Um, about what, actually? <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell us what, what this is all about. Okay, so I understand the reason for the outrage. I mean, you won't, the one woman from Nigeria who won his work. You search and then you find, oh, ugliest. I don't know why anybody would actually search ugliest Miss World, but hey, so ugliest Miss World, and then she pops up. So I get, I understand the reason for the outrage, right? But I feel like before you go to Twitter and then start key, po key part fighting or whatever, you need to understand the facts. First off, Google didn't specifically, and I'm not here to defend Google, don't get me wrong, but let's just get the facts right. Google didn't specifically create a page and then say, Agbani Darigo, ugliest. You get it was. I even looked through. In fact, the search result will bring up a Wikipedia page, so I didn't see any part of that write up that says oh, ugliest or anything. Basically, what Google does is that when you search, or generally the search engine would index your search, would will first crawl, index your search, rank those websites, and then give you a result. So your result is based on the query you put in. So it depends on how similar, the, the websites that pop up depend on how similar or how much they answer the question you've put in. That's how those, um, those results will come out. So it, it wasn't like Google specifically decided but the, the, to The report says home. it has been rectified. Oh, yes, what it was, has. So what was the problem? Yes, yeah, so I agree that they should have been able to, I mean, this is something, especially in a socially charged environment like this one, this is something that would definitely cause trouble. So they should have, to a large extent, being able to make, make sure this didn't happen. However, it wasn't like it was something they did on purpose to, to maybe spite her or make her look bad in the public eye. So yeah, I mean, I understand the reason for the outrage, like I said, but Nigerians are actually angry people. But, but, but yeah. if, 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 if you think about it, with what we know about the manipulation of the internet, people can, you know, yeah. um, create um, accounts just to make a point. Is yeah. it possible that that is something at play here as well? Uh, maybe somebody with uh, a mission, uh, so to speak, is trying to uh, put a bad uh, spin to her name. Well, I do agree that maybe at some point there was an article that had been written that had, because it won't pop up if it didn't exist somewhere. Exactly. So there might have been an article that you know, try to um, defame her or something. But then I didn't see that when I searched. I didn't see that article saying Abandon Darigo was ugly. So maybe they are taking the article down, but then it would still be there in the whole thing. It's crawling, basically. I'm just really concerned about why anyone would search for ugliest Miss World. Trust me, you don't want to know the things people search People for. are bored. <laughs> people are bored Thank and you. angry. They would search for anything. All right. uh, uh, before we let you go, uh, let's take a look at uh, your take on the NSAS um, situation. Wow. What are people saying on social media? Okay, so um, you see that one is another... Okay, so I know that at some point, I think I miss the times when we just used to go to Twitter for Twitter fights. Like, it was just fun. You get these days... About you, eight years ago. Yeah. But these days, I like the fact that... I also like the fact that we now discuss very topical issues on these social media platforms. It just shows that people are beginning to use them for what they're supposed to be used for. Now, for the NSAS campaign has always been something that comes up on the trend map. But the, for this one actually trended because... The presidency, aside from what happened in Delta, in Delta State, the presidency actually made a comment. They said, oh, now we're banning SARS. And then people went, Pff, like, 
Oh, here we go again. In 2017, there was something said about SARS, you get. 2018, another thing was said. 2019, then now 2020, you're saying practically the same thing again. And the people are outraged. They're angry because it feels like when these things happen, you just come out and say something to pacify the people and get people to calm down, and then everybody moves on. These guys will still go to the streets. These guys will say, the big question is, who is policing the police? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.